Hi, we're the Fish Sense team. I'm Emily Ferguson. I'm Zi Xiangzhou. I'm Xi Lingao. Do you know that researchers have been stuck going out to catch fish in order to study fish populations? The catch and release method is extremely invasive, inefficient, and expensive. Also, researchers are missing data about how fish interact with other fish and with their environment. Fisheries have been purchasing large quantities of fish and then measuring the fish hand by hand, one by one. Why do we care about fish length? In fisheries research, the length of a fish is the main parameter for fish reproduction, fish recruitment, fish growth rate, and fish mortality. While prior approaches to solving this problem involve bulky and inaccurate stereo rigs and laser calipers. We are bringing cutting-edge 3D imaging technology below the surface of the ocean in form of a handheld underwater imaging device. With this device, we can directly measure geometric and volumetric information about the fish in their environment. The extra dimension in our data will improve AI models for fish detection and classification, which will allow research to drastically scale up in productivity. This quarter, our team has specifically focused on automating the length detection process given images of fish. Since all cameras have distortion, it is not possible to do the direct linear coordinate translation. But we can do ca calibration with the help of a checkerboard, get camera matrices in distortion coefficients, and then undistort the image. Then, as we have the right camera view, we can now think about how to get the data from the camera. However, as you can see from the images here, the RGB camera and the depth camera are at different locations, and their views and scenes would be a little different. So, we need to make sure that the RGB image and the depth image are lined up. Basically, we find two ways to do the RGBD alignment. One is the point-to-point -point mapping that maps a depth pixel to an RGB pixel. The second approach is to create a line filter alignment between the depth image and the RGB image. In this demo video, we first draw a bounding box or say select the region of interest. Within this box, we make a mask and then filter the fish. Then we get a thin region from head and tail separately, select valid points and get the average mean. Finally, we can get the Euclidean distance of these two mean points, which is the length of the fish. Another important part of our project is noise filtration for underwater images. To better demonstrate our results, we randomly choose three images in our underwater dataset and apply each of our algorithms to them. Starting with the dehazing algorithm, the leftmost are the original ones, the middle ones are the haze free ones, and the rightmost are the brightened ones. Among our algorithms, some of them can transfer the image to different color, some of them can make the image less blurry, and some of them can enhance the contrast of different color pixels. All of these results are passed to our software team to get a better underwater fish detection. We'll give an example of how to apply our algorithm for the underwater fish lens detection. Our underwater length detection framework takes in a CSV containing depth information from an underwater image and coordinates for a bounding box encapsulating the fish. First, the algorithm will filter the depth CSV. Using the bounding box, only the depth information of the fish is kept, and all other depth information is set to zero in order to isolate the fish from the background. Then, that filtered image is passed to the canning edge detector, which also uses the bounding box to find the coordinates of the edges for the head and tail of the fish. The length of the fish can be calculated using the saved depth information of the fish along with these coordinates. We are the Fish Sense team. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you have enjoyed learning about our project. Mm -hmm.